my dad is from Nigeria. My mom is from California. Um, my dad came here when he was a teenager. Um, I'm not sure of his age, maybe 16, 17. Um, and he came to British Columbia and went to school and uh, got so many masters and degrees, you know, you can't even count them anymore. He went to Israel first and he was working there until he could afford, like, you know, to get over to the U.S. And once he could, he traveled over to the U.S. And then after that, he went back to Nigeria and he met my mom and brought her back over to the U.S. So, yeah, it was a, it was a really crazy process. If you come to my house, it's a lot of African culture there. Still eat the food, still wear the clothes, still listen to the music, it's everything. First time I played, we played in the World Championships in Japan. Um, and obviously that was a great experience going out there. And then this last time I played in the Olympics in Rio. Um, and again, that was another great um, experience to be able to get the first win in Olympic history. My dad was very proud and, you know, calling every game and letting them know that the whole country was behind us. And so it was big. I just started playing pro, so I'm trying to, you know, get this first year under my belt. And then once I get more established, I'm definitely going to go for the national team. There's a lot of more, you know, basketball players, you know, high school, college, NBA, you know, becoming more established and making a name for themselves. So, yeah, bas African basketball is definitely on the rise. I have a Nigerian chat with a lot of the guys all around the world, and uh, we kind of talk about all the different players and stuff, and we talk about life and issues. So we're all very much connected with each other, and so we're all rooting for each other. For anyone that wants to leave Africa and come to Europe or America, I think the biggest thing is just having your goals and your dreams and keeping with it. We just keep working. I mean, there's, there's definitely big opportunities uh, in Europe and in the U.S., and if they keep working hard, them opportunities will be presented, and they'll definitely take advantage of those.